Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to set up a birthday party for your stuffed animal. This includes decorations, presents, and even a birthday cake you can make in your microwave. Now let's get started! Okay, first I'm going to show who I'm making this party for. You probably already saw in the intro, but I'm going to be making this for my Beanie Boo Hedgehog, Pinky. And when deciding who to throw this party for, I really had no idea since I don't keep track of when I ever got my stuffed animals. But I remembered that Beanie Boos come with birthdays on their tags. So I looked online and found that her birthday was in September and that was close enough for me. So I'm going to be throwing this party for her. Now let's get into making the stuff we need for this party. The first one being some party hats. This I feel like really sells the birthday theme and they're super easy. I'm making them out of some scrapbook paper that happens to be double sided but I'm just going to be using one side. And I also have these hat patterns I made in two different sizes. This one is for more of a Build-A-Bear size stuffed animal and the smaller one is for Beanie Boos. You can always use regular paper for this. It would probably be really easy to make a confetti pattern like this using just markers. After cutting out the pieces I can roll these up and you'll notice that one side of this kind of triangle shape is longer than the other. And that's the side you want to start with as you roll this into a cone. So I'm adding a little clear tape to the top of the other side and rolling this into a cone shape. And there shouldn't be much of an opening at the top. Now I can tape down the rest and this basic cone shape is done. But I'm still going to add a little string strap to mine. So I had this stretchy thin elastic that I'm going to use. And I think this is from like a bracelet kit but it's perfect for this. And you could either make a little hole punch in the sides and tie it on like I did or you could just tape the ends on. That might break a little bit easier though. Some of them I left without a strap though because depending on the stuffed animal's face shape, it might just be better without it. Now I'm gonna try this on and see how it looks. Not really sure why I did this now since it's not finished, but here is how it looks. It's super cute and festive. And now the last thing you can add to this is a pom-pom. I was originally gonna do white ones and color them with chalk since I only had white and brown pom-poms, but I actually didn't have enough white ones so I ended up going with a tan color and I feel like that matched the pastel confetti. Now I'm gonna glue this on with hot glue, but you could also use just liquid school glue. I made a few more and here's what they looked like. They're not great for stacking with the pom-poms, but now the party hats are done. The next thing I'm gonna make is a little happy birthday banner. And this is really easy. I'm just going to take the same paper as before and some string. I have this light blue yarn and I'm just going to fold pieces of this paper in half and then cut out a triangle shape. And I'm going to cut out enough flags to be able to spell out happy birthday on it. So I needed 13 of these. Next, I can assemble this by cutting my string to about a foot since it's going to be a pretty small sign. And now I can add glue to the inside of the triangles and fold them in half with the string inside. And now I can just keep doing that for the next four flags since I'm going to have happy on the top and then birthday as a separate one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Once I've made both signs, I can start adding the letters on. If you have like letter stickers, that would be great for this, but I didn't. So I just used a Sharpie to write happy birthday. I went back in to dress up the font a little, but it's not very noticeable. Now that's it for this happy birthday sign. I also wanted to show this little banner I made a really long time ago. I think I just used it as room decor, but as you can see, I just used normal printer paper and then added some polka dots to it and the string, I used some braided embroidery floss. So this is definitely one of my easy go-to decorations. Next, I'm gonna start getting together some presents. I looked through like everything I've ever made for stuffed animals to find the right size for Pinky, and here is the stuff I gathered. I got a mix of toys, a pillow, a hat, a top, and some skirts. And if you can't tell what that rectangle with the dots on it is, it's a watercolor palette I made in my art supplies video. I'll link everything I have a video on in the description. I also grabbed some small boxes I happen to have to wrap some of these. These were still really big for a Beanie Boo though, so most of these I wrapped without a box. This is also a great way to use wrapping paper scraps because these are way too small to wrap normal things, but they were big enough to wrap some of these items. Now this next part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just wrapping up all these gifts. I tried to use as many different wrapping papers or just regular papers as possible so it looked like different people gave her the gifts. And I even had some tiny gift bows so I finally put those to use. Now that all the presents are wrapped up, it's time to make the cake. To make this really easy, I'm gonna be making a mug cake which can be cooked in the microwave. So here's the mug I chose. I plan to take my cake out, so I chose a mug with pretty straight sides. 
and I'm going to start by melting two tablespoons of butter and adding two tablespoons of sugar to that. Then I'm going to mix that up. I wish I'd used a spoon though because later I really want to scrape to the bottom of this mug. Next, I'm going to add 1 4th cup plus 1 and a half teaspoons of flour, 1 4th teaspoon baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Then I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of milk and a little splash of vanilla. I think the cold milk hardened the butter a little bit, so it might be a good idea to mix the dry ingredients in a little before adding the milk. And since I wanted to make this a confetti cake, I'm going to add a teaspoon of sprinkles. Now I'm going to pop this in the microwave and cook it for 70 to 90 seconds. I think I only started with 60 seconds because I was afraid it was going to be dry. But you'll see later it ended up being a little uncooked, so it definitely needed 20 or 30 more seconds. You can use a long thin knife to poke it all the way to the bottom, and if it comes out without batter on it, it's good. Now before eating this or taking it out like I am, make sure to let it sit for at least 5 minutes to cool. And I think that was part of my problem because it came out kind of a mess. Obviously a mug cake is not as sturdy as a regular cake you'd bake in the oven, and this didn't have eggs in it. So it was looking a little rough and raw on the bottom, but I was planning on cutting that off anyways to make the cake shorter. Okay, now I have to warn you, what you're about to see is not going to be pretty. I was having one of those full-on baking show moments where everything's going wrong, but you have to finish it. So let me just set this up a little more. I frosted the cake with buttercream since my sister recently made a cake and had extra frosting, so I decided to just use it. But it is kind of a lot of work to make buttercream, so if you really want to add frosting, I'll leave a recipe for a really delicious chocolate frosting, kind of like a glaze I use all the time. And trust me, it could make anything taste good. Also, that raw cake I cut off, I actually recooked in the microwave, and it was actually really good. I feel like mug cakes tend to disappoint me, but that was like pretty good cake. Anyways, I'm still trying to frost this cake and hold it together, but it wasn't looking too great with this light purple color, rough all over look, so I finally moved it to this little cake stand I happen to have. I think I got it from Michael's. And I should have just frosted it on the cake stand, but I didn't want it to get messy, but transferring it was even messier, so that's my mistake. At this point though, I only had one idea to make this cake look better, and that's cover the whole thing with sprinkles. So that's what I did. And I definitely think it helped. If you just saw the intro, you might have thought I'm an expert cake decorator and not known how much of a mess this was. While this chills in the fridge, I can finally start setting up the birthday party. I'm first hanging up the happy birthday banner, then I'm adding all the presents the guests brought over to the side along with the party hats. And since I actually filmed this the next day, the cake was ready to set out to be the centerpiece. And there's really only room for one candle here, so you could just go with one plain candle, but I happen to have this little five candle, and I feel like Pinky could be around that age. But that's pretty much it for the setup. Of course, I had to get some shots with Pinky and her cake. Now I can bring in all the guests and give them their hats. And I didn't really think this through that most of her friends would be smaller, so I didn't really need the big hats, but I made sure every hat I made was worn. Now there wasn't much of an activity planned for the party, but I feel like some obvious things to do are opening the presents in front of all the guests. And of course, singing happy birthday and cutting the cake, which I'll show later. A long time ago, I threw a birthday party for my stuffed animal Snuffles, and she actually had a musical guest appear and perform on stage. Snuffles went crowd surfing, it was wild, so I'll definitely make sure to post those photos on my community tab. Okay, now it's time to light the candle and sing happy birthday. I don't think anyone needs to hear me sing it though, so here's a montage to close us off. I really hope you enjoyed this video, especially those who requested this idea. Please give this video a like, comment any video suggestions you have, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm almost to 5,000 subscribers and I'll definitely do a special video when I reach that. I'll see you next time! Bye!